Hello everyone, you know what time it is, it's time for another review, just for you. Okay, uh, today's episode is going to be some Belgian wheat beer. Special thanks to Phil for suggesting some Belgian wheat beers. He also suggested Lefe, but I haven't bought that yet. We'll actually buy that, so huge shout out to you Phil, appreciate it. Um, this one is the original Belgian wheat beer, anno 1445. Now I don't know how many years ago that was, I'm not very good at math, I only got a D in math at school. A little bit thick as far as that's concerned, but I know that's old. It's almost as old as you'll be when you finally lose your virginity. I'm just kidding, you'll never lose it. But yeah, this one is called... Uh, Hoe Garden. Howie Garden. How Garden. Who the, I don't, I, I'll, be, I'll be honest. I went on YouTube, went on Google, went on Bing, checked out how to pronounce this properly. And basically, I got like 12 different answers. I got like Ho Garden, How Garden, Who Garden. Um, but yeah, I'm still not the wiser. So I'm going to go with the one that I like the most, which is Who Garden. It sounds like something a clown would say. You know, if, if you're in a, if you're in a, if you're going to see the circus and like halfway through the clowns and the trapeze acts and all that, yada yada, and you decide, I think I'll have a beer. In fact, I think I'll have the original Belgian wheat beer. You'd go there and say to the person behind the store, can I have some original Belgian wheat beer? And they'd be like, of course you can. And then you'd be like, what's it called? And they'd probably be like, a, a, a clown. And they'd like, just drive up on the counter in a small car, step out of it with his big fuck off red shoes and his big curly wig and his big red nose. And he'd pull the bottle out and go, here garden. And then he'd like probably like open it up and like put it into a flower and squirt it down your mouth. I mean, that would be, that'd be right. But yeah, um, this is a 4.9% volume, 330 milliliter bottle, which is doubled up for Zach Dingle. Um, yeah, it's wheat beer brewed with coriander and orange peel. It's naturally cloudy and it also says wheat beer, beer blanche which I assume is French for blonde beer. But yeah, nonetheless, let's get that out of the bottle. So I'll show you how naturally cloudy it is. And once again, nice decorated bottle cap. There's Hugh Garden written on it. So, here we go. Let's have a look at what it looks like. nice three-fingered head and I've got fat fingers as you all know so that's yeah and it is very cloudy but also carbonation moderation to it this is gonna tingle your tongue now before I go any further disclaimer I suffer from a minor wheat intolerance in fact yesterday morning I had a, um, a cheese spread sign Deadly, if you want to know the specifics. And it was only two little tiny thin pieces of bread that I'd had cut in half. And I swear to God, after eating it, I felt fucked. That's how terrible my wheat intolerance is. So, will I enjoy this wheat beer, knowing about its high wheat content? I might, but at the same time, if I'm ever out with you on a lad's night out, or even a girl's night out, or even if it's a date. Yeah, I know I'm handsome. And I know you're handsome too. Why not make things, take it one step one, one step further. Go for it. You know you want this. And I know you want it too. Uh, but yeah, if we, uh, if I ever go out and drink this, I'll never drink it once because I think one's enough. Because if I have more than one, I will feel, in layman's terms, Donald Duck. I will feel like they're the kit. I will feel like Werner von Trapp. I will feel like... I can't 
can't think of any more. Yeah, basically, I'll, I'll, I'll be messed up from it because of the wheat intolerance. Wheat beer, wheat intolerance. Doesn't really mix, nonetheless. We've seen what it looks like. Let's have a sniff. Let's see if my nose is wheat intolerant as well. I hope it isn't. Okay, here we go. Yeah, um, citrus. Yeah, I can. It smells like freshly made bread. So there is definitely wheat in this. Something really off though. It smells chemically. I'm not sure if it is chemically, but it, it's it's like it's a, it's a mixture of wheat with a little bit of citrus, which fades over time, and uh, there is a weird chemical smell to it. Let's have a look at the ingredients. Um, Wheat beer, barley, water, malt, wheat, hops, spices, coriander seeds, natural orange peel, sugar and yeast. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's the spices. Because spices can kind of, once they mix, they can get a weird sort of synthetic taste to them. Not that there are synthetics in there, because there aren't. But it can leave a synthetic taste. Oh, by the way, before I go any further, there's a blurb. Um, yeah. So, almost 600 years ago, in the Belgian village of Hugarden, a band of monks experimented by adding oddball botanicals from halfway around the world to their traditional wheat beer. Our recipe, inspired by their creation, is a beer with a refreshing flavour and captivating aroma unlike any in the world. You might call it divine inspiration, we call it Hugarden. Or whole garden, don't know how you call it, but yeah. Um, so it's not really, it's inspired by the creation. So, is it really from 1445? Because if, if anything, they just admit it to this beer being a tribute act to the creation from 1445. I don't know. I've also found out something really fucked up as well. Um, I might have pulled this out wrong. Basically, you're supposed to chill it, step one, then step two, pour two thirds of it in, and then swirl it, and then take the top off and enjoy. I've kind of just poured out like I pour any other beer. Um, yeah, uh, it looks okay though, it looks like uh, I assume it would. The head's still intact, so obviously it must have been something right. So, yeah, I think I've done okay nonetheless. You can follow those guidelines, or you can be an idiot like me. Either way, you're going to get a drink out of the bottle. Let's see what it tastes like. Bottoms up. And up your bottoms. Here we go. Okay, um, uh, how do I describe this? Um, I got the orange peel flavour first, and the carbonation was tingling the tongue, which I assumed it would. Uh, it doesn't fall short there, that doesn't look right there in that regard. But I got a weird taste of fairy liquid at the back of my tongue. And then underneath my tongue, swelling upwards, I got a weird taste, like, like water that's been sort of left on a mantelpiece for about six weeks. It didn't taste too good. Maybe this is just my first try, and I might sort of, my taste was might warm to it with a couple more mouthfuls. Let's give it a go.
Mm, yeah. Um, it's not. Nah, this is. I mean, no. I'm just. I'm just not getting it. I'm trying. I'm really. I'm. You know, maybe. Maybe again. I'm, it's still early days. I could open myself up to it. Tastes good, lads. Or maybe I just fucking poured it out wrong. I, you know, I can only blame myself. I might have to do another video at a later date, following these guidelines. Maybe it'll taste completely different. Maybe it'll taste the same. Maybe it'll taste worse. Who knows? One thing is that I'm having a go for now. On my mind will still be open, even though I'm not really feeling it right now. And I'm probably not going to give this the best of scores. My mind is still open. I'll try it again at a later date with the guidelines in. Got the advisory guidelines thrown in. As a to how to pour it. And from there, I'll give you a more in-depth view. But for now, mm, Well, that tasted really fucking all over because I've just had a, um, a Cajun chicken pizza and um, I burped with the beer in my mouth. So it's basically just mixed the wheat beer with a DJ. Uh, that, fucking hell. See, I, I can't pronounce the name of the beer. I can't pronounce digested. I'm fucked. This thing has fucking had an effect. I'm in pissed already. No, it basically it's a mixture of wheat beer and. Cajun chicken pizza and a little bit of stomach acid thrown in there for good measure. Just that it, it wasn't a good cocktail, that burp and the beer. Simultaneously, you don't do that. If you ever if you ever gonna burp, wait until you swallow the beer. Cause that was fucking vile. Um let's have another go, shall we? Let's see if I get any gas it'll come up the other end. Again, it doesn't taste very strong, but I can definitely taste. I mean, the, the orange peel is definitely there. The the spices, not much. I can't really taste anything spicy about it. Um, the coriander seeds, the sugar, the yeast. I, mean, I can taste the wheat. Well, I'm getting a whole host of other flavors that shouldn't be in there. So you know, obviously, it's the fairy liquid and it's the weird stale water. That should have been thrown out months ago. That, that's, I'm getting that too. So, um, yeah. I'd give this a 4 out of 10. It, the, and I'm doing it because maybe I fucked up the pour. But right now, as of taste-wise, based on my own opinion, from my own experience, 4 out of 10. It's not the best. I wouldn't... I mean, if you're into wheat beer, then... <laughs> you know, your experience will be different to mine because you can take lots of wheat in the same way, you know, you uh, your mum takes lots of dick and that's a lot. Um, I can't take that much wheat, I'll be honest. So, you know, I think I'm just going to pour this out for the obligatory thumbnail pick. With a nice big head on it. And from there, I'll upload the video. I'll leave the comments section open. If you think I'm a cunt, tell me about it. If you think I'm a really nice, handsome, attractive person, tell me about that as well. Or if you just don't know and you just want to type, I don't know, go ahead. The comment section's open just for you. Nonetheless, I'd give this a 4 out of 10. Mm, would I recommend it? Not, not, not. As in the way it tastes right now? No, I wouldn't. I'm going to try Lefe, maybe at a later date. Because I've heard that's really nice. It's another Belgian wheat beer. But uh, for now, this is... Uh, it's falling short. That's all I can say. Nonetheless, I hope you've enjoyed this review. And... I'm going to 
be doing some more reviews at the weekend and beyond, obviously. Um, in the meantime, I hope you all have a wonderful evening and I'll see you soon. Take care, bye, signing out.